Your computer is old, you've gutted it, and you're ready to trash it. But there's that little paranoid part of you that doesn't want to put the hard drive into garbage. You know you've erased it, but still, someone might get something off of it. So what do you do with it? You make a clock. Here's what you'll need. Old hard drive, power drill and drill bits, hammer and screwdriver, torque wrench, pliers, any kind will do, needle nose come in really handy, straight edge or box cutter, and a three quarter inch clock movement. You can get these at any crap store or online. Find a style that suits your personality. Oh, and you'll need a vise. Extract external screws from the hard drive. Sometimes you'll find hidden ones under the labeling. Remove the cover. It may come off easily, but if not, use an X-Acto knife and carefully go around the edges to lift it off. Now that we can see the inside of the hard drive, it's time to remove the magnet as to not hinder our clock movement. This may require removing the hard drive actuator arm. Remove the screws holding the disc in place. Careful not to scratch or damage the platter, for aesthetic reasons. Pull back the actuator arm and lift the disc. Underneath the actuator arm is the magnet. Remove it and save it. You could use it in a number of projects, or to hold up pictures on your fridge. In the center of the disc is the motor. Unscrew and remove the motor. Now is when you'll need your vise. Place the motor inside the vise and use a screwdriver and hammer to tap out the center. It may come out easily, or it may take a bit of work. In order to mount the clock movement, you'll need some type of wide washer to fill the disc hole. Or better yet, you can get crafty and find something that's more interesting to look at. In this case, I used a flattened bottle cap and pierced a hole through the center. Screw the back of the motor back in the case of the hard drive. Assemble the clock movement using the instructions that come with it, but be sure to assemble it through the holes you made in the motor by taking it apart. So back to front, that would be the clock movement, the motor, the disc, the front of the motor, or bottle cap in this scenario, and the rest of the clock parts and pieces. Hopefully, you kept the hard drive case cover in good shape, because now we can make a base out of that. Line up the clock hard drive to the base the way you want it, mark it, drill it, and then attach it to the base. There may be holes already in place that you can use without even drilling. Put in your battery, and you now have an upcycled hard drive clock. Now no one can get your old data.